as we come together to love in the presence of God, let us be humble enough to acknowledge our own sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty of living God, let us be a little compassion more readily during these days when your gift we have known it more fully so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God, who refused me not, my prayer for his kindness. Choice when I hear people 
say, Father, I have been reading the Bible and I meditate upon it. And I feel God consoling me, even if I am all alone in this time of pandemic. So it is very important for us to make the Word of God a part of our life. It does not end here just in the Mass. But every day we are called to read the Word of God and meditate upon the Word of God. Then, when the Spirit moves us, we will get out of our couch, our chairs, or our bed in the early morning and we will come to church because He is the bread that came down from heaven to give us life, not the life that we have in the flesh here, but the life that is eternal, provided we believe. It is so sad sometimes the surveys and studies reveals completely opposite to what we believe. When people are asked, Catholics, do you believe that what you receive is real Jesus himself? Very often the survey is very sad. Only 20 or 30 percent of the Catholics believe that is Jesus himself. My friends, it is not a wafer. It is not a simple round thing that we are receiving. It is not the bread that we are eating at home. It is not the bread that we buy in Costco or Sanskrit or any coffee shop or any bread that we make, banana bread or butter bread in bread. It's not. It is Jesus Himself in His complete totality. There is no if and but. Before He went from this world, when it was time for Him, according to the Father's will and plan, He felt so connected to us. So connected to us. He couldn't leave us alone and abandoned in the valleys of tears. He wanted to be with us. Amen. Not half-hearted, not wishy-washy. In his totality, in his fullness. And that is why he established the Eucharist. And that is why you and I gather to receive him in his fullness. Remember again, he is coming not half-hearted, not wishy-washed, in totality as God himself, as Christ himself, to redeem us, to love us, to bring us home. Amen. Amen. Having heard the word of the Lord, let us come to him with our deeds and intentions. For the church, may the grace and love found in the sacraments help all of us draw closer to the abundant mercy of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all elected officials, and government leaders, may the Holy Spirit help them to be attentive to him. 
his pathetic message. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who know body or spiritual hunger, may God's providence bring them relief and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. For this community, may the gifts of God's word and the Eucharist nourishes us and make us grow in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may Jesus, the living bread, raise them to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. For our personal intentions, for the special intentions of this Mass, which are for those afflicted with the coronavirus, and for the protection of all families, for the protection of the healthcare frontliners and all involved in preventing the spread of the virus, we pray to the Lord. Blessings for all members of our Lady of Good Council, Church, and School. Blessings and healing for Nancy Tai C. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the eternal repose of the souls of Willie Antonio, Maximo C., Luciana Kabi, Abraham Kabi, and Dimitra Kabi. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Let us ask for the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your body, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now is it the hour of our death. Father, we thank you for knowing us to your Son and giving us the life. Hear the prayers we offer you. We make these prayers for Christ to our Lord. Amen. Amen.
God, our mighty Father. God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme God in him. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know of your good, we may make it ours by the worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to proclaim you, Lord. But in this time, ever all, now you get to more gloriously than Christ and our past Lord has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim of lies no more, the Lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. But even the heavenly powers, with the angelic force, sing together the only hymn of your glory as they are praying. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of the hosts, heaven and the earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, the blessed sea comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Do I need holy Lord? The heart of all the bullets. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit of morn of light with your power, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was with faith, and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and gave it hands, brought it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my blood, which will be given up for you. Our hearts and the hearts of many who join us in life. We 
number, the suffering, suffering, afflicted with coronavirus, diagnosed with cancer, who are remaining and taking care of them, and those who receive the vaccine. Remember all those who are home bound, care homes, nursing homes, and hospitals. Remember those who celebrate their birthdays and the anniversary of the sacrament of marriage. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection to all who have died in your hearts. Welcome them to the life of your face. And when we see us all day quick, that the blessed God of Mary for the God, to the blessed Joseph, to the blessed Apostle for all the saints, St. Mary, St. Mary Ann, St. Francis Xavier, blessed be the time of our Lady of the Council, who have pleased you throughout the ages, be it miracle for heirs to be alive, and the praise and glory to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with me on him. For God Almighty oh, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor be yours forever and ever.